Hi, this is Amy Griesack with North 40 Outfitters, and today we are going to get your bees into their new home. Give you, we'll give you the steps that you need to do to make sure you have a happy and healthy hive. Now, when we are talking about installing a new package of bees, the first thing we need to do is kind of understand the place that they're going. So these are two hive bodies, they're called, and they're, these are also called deeps. There's deep hive bodies, and then there's also the shallow hive bodies, which are used for the honey, so they're also called honey supers. But right now we're working with the deep hive bodies. To give you a little idea of what the different parts of the hive are, we have the lid, which will take off, and the telescoping cover. And then a lot of times when we install our bees, we like to use an empty hive body because that way after the bees are in the main hive, I can take this mostly empty package and just set it in here and then all the bees are just going to find their way down with everybody else. So that's just an easy, easy way to do it. To put our bees in, now we pick these up at North 40, and these, I love this package. This is a nifty, nifty package. For years, well, since the 90s, I've always dealt with the wooden packages, and they can be a little fussy sometimes trying to pry the feeder can loose and things like that. I am going to gently tap the package on the ground, and that's going to knock the bulk of the bees to the bottom of the cage. Then as quickly as possible, I'm going to pry up this feeder can and then I'm going to take out the queen cage. And in the meantime, I will cover up the hole with the block of wood so all the bees don't come out. So we pulled out the queen cage that was hanging right there. And see, the bees are already trying, they're getting to know her. The reason they put the queen in a separate cage is for the bees to basically, like I said, get to know her with the pheromones. They accept her as their queen. The thing is, we don't want to put the queen in the hive and have her just out amongst all the other worker bees right away. We want to give her a couple of days for the bees to get to know her and to accept her or if she was released immediately, they would most likely kill her, or most, you know, most probably kill her. At the end of the little queen cage, there's a little cork, and so I'm gonna take that off. And they supplied this awesome little piece of candy, so it's a little bit of hard candy in there. I'm gonna put that in the hole, and then that's gonna give the bees just enough time, typically two to three days, to chew through this, because they're gonna be loving that candy, chew through this and release her. So another thing you can do if you don't have this piece of candy to be able to put in the hole, take a piece of marshmallow. Take just a piece of marshmallow and pop that in the hole. Or even if you do happen to have honey and wax, you can put a little smear of that in there too. And that works just as well. Okay. So just to show you, so I put the little piece of candy in on the end and now she's, I'm going to put her inside the hive. I'm going to suspend her against or in between a couple of the frames in the middle of the hive. And one thing when I put her in, I don't want her necessarily smashed, you know, looking at another comb. I want her kind of looking inside the hive in between the frames so they can see her, they can get to know her and accept her. So I'm going to put this in. So the queen is in place, and so now what I'm going to do is, once again, I'll kind of gently bump this on the ground, send the bees to the bottom, and then I'm going to dump it on the hive. And after I dump it, as many bees as I can over the hive, and they'll tend to filter down in there and hang out with the queen. This is, they'll, they really get established pretty quickly. So I'll dump as many as I can, then I'm going to put that second body on top, I'm going to set this empty package because there's still going to be bees in here. And so that way the bees find their way down into the main hive easily. But in the meantime, I'm going to take this feeder can and tip it upside down. Don't want to crush anybody. And we're going to button up the hive and let them get used to their new place. 
And if you have any questions on bees or gardening or anything else, go to north40.com or visit us at any of our stores.